Here we go. Start off with the D4. Super Electric, 1859 from Russia. Good opponent. Okay, we're playing a Queen's Gambit. Queen's Gambit declined. Old classical Queen's Gambit declined. That's not a move I'm used to. What's the idea? It's not like it has great squares here. Maybe it's going to go to uh, c6. Well, I think I still want to bring my knight out to uh, f3. It could go to uh, e5 and hit the uh, hit the bishop. I guess uh, one idea is now I can't play this check and win the pawn, so he can he can actually take that pawn. But that's a gambit pawn anyway. It's hardly uh, <clears throat> not not a problem if he wants to take it. Mm. But if he wants to take this, that is a problem. So that stops me from playing knight to uh, e5. Let's. Let's just go here, and then that also defends the uh, defends the c pawn. Yeah, it's castle. Wonder what I can do to excuse me. I'm just trying to get rid of these uh, blue dots everywhere. What are those uh, blue? blue things and how do I get rid of them? Okay, there. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, so I can go here with the knight. He can take it. This knight can come here. Let's uh, kick the bishop. Find out. Yeah, he didn't really want to take that. So now I can push this pawn, right? It's not, uh, the knight defends it. The knight defends that pawn. Yeah, both those pawns are protected. And I threatening, threatening that big fork there. So he stops that from happening. Now what? You know, there's bishop check, king takes, knight here check, king moves, and then queen out here. No, no, the knight covers it. <laughs> okay. If I push this pawn, he'll have to move the knight, but then um, then he'll go here and I'll have to move my bishop, or maybe he goes here. Also, it blocks in my bishop. Let's castle. I mean, let's uh, <laughs> let's pin that knight. And then uh, maybe drop back to drop back to g3 to attack this pawn here. Threaten threaten that fork again. Aha! So he finally decides to take. And uh, okay, get an extra pawn towards the center here. So he doesn't want to take my knight, I guess, bring my queen forward. Or maybe he's looking for an opportunity to, uh, it is a bit loose, right? If this bishop moves, I have to do something with the knight. So if I take his knight, then that brings the bishop here. And I could bring my queen out here attacking his knight, maybe. Putting pressure on it, it's still defended. Mm -hmm. But uh, he solves that problem for me by uh, by moving his knight. Let's step back.
Okay, so now I've got knight here. No, he can take here. Maybe rick here. I don't especially want to move these pawns. Whatever pawn I move would leave some kind of weakness behind. Although maybe I, I'll be forced to at some point. Now I can play knight here. He takes, I can take with the bishop. He might get some kind of pin here against my queen. Let's go here. Put uh, my queen opposite his king. This is undefended momentarily. But it has squares it can run to if it gets attacked. Unless there's some fancy discovery here I don't see. So I'm looking forward to playing knight to um, whatever this column is. D, knight to D. <laughs> and he runs with his knight. Interesting. Oh, because my queen is no longer... Uh, guarding this square. Well, it's defended here. It's here and here. Let's still go here. His queen does not have many uh, good squares, and now he can't even trade this guy off. And I am threatening uh, mate here. So I guess there's really only one move. Queen here. Opponent offers a draw. <laughs> Go away. So I go here with check. He can take it with the queen. It'd be nice to get the other knight in there, but this is covered by his bishop. It means his bishop is kind of tied down, but... I don't see an immediate way to exploit that. I'll just keep centralizing things. Okay, he moved his king, so I can't uh, move my knight with check. That's what it is. I could put the knight here, and if the uh, bishop takes it, I don't know. At least I'll get some discovery with this knight. Ah, now the queen goes there. Hmm. It's funny how he avoids trades. I mean, offers trades. He was he was avoiding trades of the minor pieces, but he's offering a trade of the queen. It's funny. Yeah, I have to go here first. If I if I take the bishop, then um, I will lose my um, knight there. No, the knight's still protected by a bishop and a uh, rook. Now I can just take that. I can take that. Okay, he defended his knight. I can take there. Oh, his queen takes. Let's go here, hitting the queen. I think finally I'm starting to make some progress here. I don't know why he was wanting a... Uh, <clears throat> why he was wanting a draw. He stayed to play. It's not like he was out of time. I'm, I'm lower on time. I mean, also out of time doing whatever he was doing. <clears throat> okay, he's going to mate me now. Hmm, too bad. Too bad. 
Check and mate. What do I do about that? Can run, but he can come in here anyway. I can move my queen, I guess. Check, I go here, check, I step up. Knight here, check. King goes to the corner, but um, then what? Knight back here, threatening the mate here. Ah, that was tricky. Yeah, I was low on time. So, yeah, that's a nice sacrifice idea. Sacrifice the knight so that uh, when the queen comes here and check, it can come over here. That wasn't possible before. If he did, for example, um, this check. Check, and I'm just running. It's all okay, I guess. And come back here. Yeah, maybe it's still not okay, but uh, anyway, I can I can struggle, maybe block the. But uh, but this check that he played was pretty fatal. Yeah, I had to run. I could still go like this, but uh, well, I was low on time, and I just took it. I didn't see the idea here until he played the move. Excuse me, until he made played this move. And nice mate. Okay, let's see if we can get another game here. Maybe get a rapid game. There we go, fried egg. <laughs> Okay, fried egg, you have the white pieces. There we go. Now I'll play a Sicilian. Ah, knight c3 Sicilian. Okay. Hmm. Unusual combination, knight c3 and bishop here. Not, not one I'm familiar with. And he gives me the bishop pair. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So I put my bishop out here right away and try and push this pawn. That's not, uh, not a usual idea, I don't think, but I'm curious. I am curious. Because this, this pawn structure over here is kind of weak. I've had trouble with it before. So I'm doing something a little different. Okay, we can play d4 then. Mm-hmm. Okay, I want to try and keep these light squares from... <laughs> keep them open. I don't want his pawns coming forward any further. I might even retreat this bishop back. And the knight could go here. To here. 
Let's go this way. Yeah, then, then the knight could go here and here. Yeah, a very uh, peculiar setup here, but he chose this <laughs> way of playing. He has this funny line in the Sicilian I'm not familiar with, so that's what happened. Yeah, he can get to that position. Now, I guess he's going to push the... Um, push that pawn. The e pawn. And if I take, he takes back, forking my queen and my bishop. I mean, it's not the end of the world, really. But I don't have to take. I could push. Try and push that knight away here. Let's drop this bishop back first. Yeah, I'm wondering about playing f6. I play f6. If he takes, I'll take back with a pawn. I'm thinking eventually he has to move that knight, and this file is not open. I'm not going to take. I'm just going to try and force him to move the knight. Yep, and I'm going to do it now before he gets this knight to a good square. Now my uh, bishop is controlling these squares. Yeah, he's got that check. So now my bishop is pinned. But I can unpin. And I can trade off his knight. Yeah, if the knight comes forward. The knight goes here. I don't see anything better than just taking. I take, queen takes, and then maybe lift my queen up here to chase the queen away. Can't go here or here because of the rook. Can't go here or here because of this rook. So the queen has to go back. And then once the queen is out of there, I can castle. And it's not pinned anymore. And then I can go back to uh, developing my knight. Attacking this pawn. I have to worry about what the knight here can do. But this knight, yeah, it can't hop in here. Or here, I can take it, the king or the knight here, and with the rook here. This would be a trade. Can't go here because the pawn could go back here or here. So yeah, he does go there. I, I thought that would be, and I think I don't want to live with that. I mean, he's got, um, he's got the check here if I were to try and chase that knight away right away. So I think uh, trading is the right thing to do. And then lifting up the queen, like I said because his queen can't come in further and it'll have to go back and then I'll be able to castle. And it should be 
the solution to all my problems. <clears throat> now, this is the point where I was worried he can actually put this knight in here and maybe jump in here. Could be a bit annoying. But I can put my knight here, so that should be okay. <clears throat> yeah, and he brings his bishop out. Okay. He's going to put the bishop here, or is he going to put maybe the knight there and then the bishop here? Let's think. I have time here. Yeah, but I really want to move that knight. <laughs> I really want to get it into the game. But let's think. Is the knight better here? Where does it go from there? Here, here, here. Doesn't look all that promising. From here, at least, it's attacking a pawn. And yeah, the U square would be here, so I have I will have to move my queen out of the way. Which is something I want to do anyway. Yeah, defends this uh, bishop too. That's a nice, a nice side benefit. You yeah, have to be careful when he puts his knight here. He's not doing it. He's defending. He is defending. And when he puts his knight here going to be threatening to go here with the fork of uh, a rook and say if I move my queen to that square that would be a nasty fork so got to take care well now I can um, move my rook here how about moving my rook all the way here though I mean this just attacks a pawn here I'm threatening the queen maybe And now I can drop down. I'm keeping this rook protected with my queen. So he moved his queen. Um, you know, this knight. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, if I move this pawn, then the knight is under attack. The knight is loose. But, of course, he just takes the pawn. I take, he takes. Let's go here, open up that, remove any possible pins by opening up the uh, e-file there. And now I can step over here. Attacking his loose pawn. Oh, he just wants to bring the uh, bishop back. Uh, what does he want to do with the knight, though? I think this wins a pawn. I hope I'm not getting too far afield. <laughs> the knight can't uh, really move anywhere except here. And it can't be defended. Oh, no, the queen can come back and defend it. But then I can put my rook, my knight here. No, I can't. Can't quite do that. 
Yeah, the queen can defend it. Huh. So if I take this rook, he'll have to take back with the rook. If I put this rook here, he'll take it with the bishop. I mean, this knight here, I'll, he'll take it with the bishop. Just wondering if I can uh, maybe double my rooks here. Probably not. It will probably take take my rook to prevent that. Yeah. Yeah, I still have ideas of getting my knight in here, but it's it's always covered, so I guess that's not working. Mm hmm. So now when I take this rook, if I were to take it, I would pull this queen away from defense of the knight. But my rook is not in a position to take. So let's um, step up with the king here. Keep his rook from getting to this square. Bring my knight out and then maybe bring my rook out. Is there another place I could put that uh, knight? Not seeing it really. If the knight could get to here, how would that happen? These squares are all covered. Yeah, can't get my knight to that square. Okay, he wants to push me away from the square I'm on. Going to oppose the rook. Yeah, anyway, I wasn't really threatening much because if I took the rook, he could take with the king there, but maybe he didn't want to walk back with this king. Here to here, here. Not sure. Oh, he forgot. He forgot about this pawn. Oh no, the, the knight's covering it. Step up with my king again. <laughs> This is what I should do. Uh, oh, I, that, that won't work now. <laughs> I was going to say, push this pawn so my knight maybe could get in the game this way, but no, now it's needed where it is. Okay, lining up on this pawn. He defends. Well, now I see a way to get my uh, knight to a better position. Again, put the knight where the bishop is. And then go here. Okay, I have to make sure uh, 
That is, queen can't get in. Ah, okay. Finally, he plays that move. I've been waiting for so long. And um, his queen is defending here. He's really uh, keeping an eye on everything here. His bishop is defending here. His queen's defending here. Good play, sir. I'm going to see if I can penetrate with my queen. Yes, he's attacking this pawn. Now my queen can come in with check. Might be useful. And this is no longer protected when he lifted his queen up. I guess his idea was to push here while this pawn was pinned. Maybe it still is his idea. Yeah, we could get into a position where everything gets traded. After pushing there, if I defended this pawn with my queen, he takes, I take back, he takes, I take back, he takes, I take back. And it's just king versus king and all the pawns. Yeah, he goes there. So let's throw in the check first anyway. You can always do that. Okay, I can go here, check. But I don't know if I can ever take that pawn. Depends on which way he runs. I mean, I can always come back here to defend. Yeah, so I thought if he ran that way, then Go here, check, he comes up here, I take this pawn, check. He goes up or down, then I can check and then get back here. And then if we go for that liquidation line, I will be up a pawn. But what if he comes forward and I'm here? Check, check, king runs forward. I can check it here. The king runs forward to this square and I'm here don't have any way to give a check and I don't have a way to get back here that's a problem well I pushed this king back so let's go here and see what he does. He doesn't have to liquidate. It's just one of his options at this point. And in fact, if he just uh, doesn't do anything, <laughs> just holds everything in position, <laughs> then I'm, I'm stuck too. Although I can always give more checks, so he can't win that way. If he wants to win, I think he has to start taking stuff. And that'll give me a chance to win. Because my king will be in a better position. In 
in the end game. I think these pawns all hold each other off. So I don't think the pawns will penetrate by themselves. Yeah, a lot of times when you can take a pawn with check, that's a good thing. But um, I think if he just steps up here after the check, and I don't have a way to, then I don't have a way to give another check. Huh. What's that? So, he's, um, I could step up with the king. Yeah, this is probably some kind of perpetual here, huh? I could take with the queen and then block his check. And we do get that end game I was talking about, unless he retreats. So always a possibility. He does, yeah, it's dangerous, it's dangerous. There, didn't want his uh, queen coming in and grabbing this pawn. Now my king has been pushed back. <laughs> uh-huh. Attacking this pawn, but he can step his king forward. And, um, well, I can step my queen forward as well. Queen here to here. He'll probably trade. Okay, but he's keeping his queen. Yeah, he's keeping his queen on this diagonal. Okay, once more I've recreated this check. Hmm. Okay, boldly going for the win here. There, he can't go forward. So he has to step back. Is there any way I can shake that king loose from these pawns? <laughs> here. I guess that's just a draw by and perpetual, huh? But I don't see a way to uh, break, break this pattern here. All right. Well, good game, sir. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you next time. Bye now.